Alrighty all, my name is Tommy and of course I am with Z Grills and on today's show it is going to be A to Z how you could make that perfect pizza on your Z Grills pellet grill. So look there is really not much needed to make a successful pie on your Z Grills. What you need is a nice stone and also a uh, Z Grills pellet grill. That is it. Pick your own ingredients. What I want to do is I want to jump on over to the Z Grills, get some pellet pellets in and show you rule number one. All right guys, so once you put the pellets in, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn on your pit. Real important here, you never wanna go cold stone, hot pit. You always wanna go cold, cold. So so right from the beginning, turn your pit on and make sure your uh, stone gets right in the pit and that gives you about a good half hour or so to get all your ingredients together. And also of note, you wanna turn your pit up full. You can adjust it lower right before your pie goes in, but at first, cause it does take a little bit of time to preheat that stone up, turn the pit on, get the stone in, get it on full and bring that up to temperature. So look guys, always remember when you first fire up your pellet grill and it starts to smoke, you always wanna open up that hood let all that smoke dissipate. When it is all finished, close the hood and start your preheating up. Alrighty, look, so that only takes about 30 seconds. So as the pit now is coming up to temp, let me go in the house. Let me get all my ingredients, get them over here on the board, and let's start whipping us up a pizza. So a few lessons that I've learned in the uh, past from making uh, pizza pies and also a couple tricks is, uh, and there is a simple pizza dough recipe on the screen. It is flour, it is flour, it is flour. Get flour on the board, get flour on your hands, get flour on the dough, and also start with a nice ball like that. As long as you start with a nice ball like that, you want to keep it round as you start pushing it, push it from the sides, push it in from the center like that and just keep it round. Another thing there, that is your top of your pizza. Don't switch it. That'll always be the top. That is where the cheese is going to be going. That is very important. Once you pick it up and if you want to use your hands to stretch it, kind of let gravity do the uh, let gravity do the work for you. And again, as long as you keep it in a nice circle like that, when, when you pick it up and gravity does the, uh, does the work, it'll stay in a circle. So look, once you get it stretched out to your uh, to your liking, get your peel, get some cornmeal, get a little bit of flour, maybe some alina flour on it. You want to pick up that uh, pick up that uh, pizza dough, get it on the thing uh, on the uh, on the peel as it is time to build your pie. I am going to go with a uh, my version of a white pie, and that is going to be some fresh mozzarella cheese. And look, very important here, use a good cheese. I am going with a whole milk poly O. I am gonna follow that up with a couple nice dollops of a nicer ricotta cheese. And from there, I got some whole milk, fresh slice of mozzarella, and I am gonna hit it with a couple leaves of basil. Alrighty, look, so that was pretty, uh... That was pretty smooth sailing there. I'm thinking maybe about 10 minutes or so we will monitor the pie because I am only about 450 inside the pit and that stone is just a little bit under 500. So I do think that is gonna be pretty good. We will let this go for about four or five minutes and then we will give it a check. So I always like to give it one check. This is four minutes in and the only thing really you wanna do here is just make sure that pizza is cooking nice and even. Alrighty, so look, total cook time on this is about nine minutes. Let's go in, let's get it off, let's get it on the board, let it set up for a minute or two, and close it out with that taste test.
All righty, look, man, when you nail it, you nail it. And this looks absolutely, I mean, this looks perfect, man. It is nice and, it is nice and firm. I'll show you the bottom, uh, the bottom when we slice it off. But this is the way I like to finish it. This is a good Pecacino Romano. And I never like to put this on beforehand because it'll just probably burn and it won't be a good taste. So I'll get the, uh, get the pizza off. It is nice bubbling hot. Hit it with the Pecorino. and let it just kind of melt in. Yeah. So look, that basically is your pizza 101, and I can tell you we did a uh, we did a good job. And look, this is about an eight minute pie here, and uh, one of the things I like with making pizza on a, uh, on a pellet grill, uh, uh, other than those uh, pizza ovens, besides the cost of the pizza oven, about four or 500, whatever, they go in about two, three minutes. You're going crazy to try to get it done. Most of the times you burn it. There is a steep learning curve to those pizza ovens. With your Z grills, it is one, two, three, man. It is eight, nine minutes. It is no problem at all. Of course, I need a uh, better pizza slicer. I'm just gonna go one, uh, I'm just gonna go one slices for the taste test. as this is dinner tonight. Want to give you a uh, look at the back, but I got so much stuff on here, I'm afraid it's gonna fall off, but let's, let me get a bite first. Let's get that taste test in, cheers. All right, man, I could tell you, this is out of this world, a cheesy good. I mean, it is loaded up with cheese. That's the way I like it. Now I get to show you the bottom. A little crispy over here, but that's not bad. Over here is perfect. Come on. Come on. And you can see that pizza there is definitely 100% Pitmaster Molly approved. Look, that is it for this one. And don't forget, as always, Z Grills will have this recipe down in the description. They will blog it out so you can go get exactly what you need to make it up. And also, don't forget to check the, uh, the Z Grills Facebook, the Instagram, and of course, this YouTube channel here. And then we got the websites, no worries there. Z Grills will have you smoking all year long. So that is it. Again, my name is Tommy. Down there is Molly. And until next time, keep those pizzas happening. And we will see you soon.